Hey besties, we are in Tulum. I'm so excited to take you guys along for our little Tulum travel vlog. This is a vacation and this is my second time to Tulum. Actually, the first time I came with my girls last year for my birthday and it was a girls trip and I'm here again this year for my birthday but I'm with my man, my man, my man. So I'm really excited about this trip because we're staying here longer than my first trip and we're gonna get to explore Explore a lot more than I did the last time so super excited we got here yesterday actually around like we got to Tulum about 5 30 our flight got in at about 2 45 and we rented a car and we drove here which has been the most convenient thing ever but we took the evening to just settle in so this is technically our first full day it is Saturday, May 13th, and my birthday is actually tomorrow. So we are about to go out and get some breakfast, and then later on, we have some plans. I'ma just let y'all see. I'ma just let y'all see. I'm not gonna say, y'all just gonna come along for the ride and i hope y'all enjoy but let me show you a little airbnb tour this airbnb is so cute and i honestly feel like the pictures did not do it enough justice so i'm gonna give you guys a tour and i will link our airbnb down below if you are interested and you know you ever come to tulum and you're looking for a cute little place to stay so yeah let's get into it Said it was really nice. Hell yeah, it was nice. I'm gonna be up in here every day. This is like really cute. Oh, that, that one, it looks very similar to yours, though. But yeah, that is a nice hat. It's a nice hat. Look at this. This is the two piece set. Yeah, it is a pants in the top. That's cute. Lord knows I don't need no mo clothes. Oh man, that's so tempting. I think I'm gonna have to get it, y'all. I like the pink. And honestly, baby, I'm gonna have to give me one of these bottles of wine. Yeah. The tasting. So 100 pesos, 200 pesos, 500 pesos. Let me try another one. Try a really big one. Yes, that's the one. That's you. That's you, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got our outfits laid out. That's what he wearing. It's giving we go together real bad because we are definitely matching. I decided to wear this and of course he wanted to be just like me. So how cute is this from Zada? And where's your, his outfit is from Zada too. So yeah, we about to get ready. So I decided to come out on the balcony and do my makeup. This is about to be a quick little light beat. The lighting is better. You know, it's best to do your makeup in natural lighting. And I just got this 
Fenty moisturizer. It has SPF, but I've been using it for a while, but I accidentally got a freaking mineral. So it has like a white cast. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to really avoid that, but not by not putting on as much as I normally do. I normally put on a lot of SPF because we have to, of course, protect our skin. I'm gonna put on right now just enough to cover my skin and not like much extra. Cause Shaquille earlier was like, do you got makeup on? You look purple. And I'm like, nah, I don't have makeup on. Cause why would I put on purple makeup? But then I realized that I had gotten the wrong sunscreen, but we gonna work with it. Cause that's all we got. It is May 14th, my birthday, and we decided to kick it off with a massage and a facial. So there are some massage therapists that are going to meet us here at an Airbnb. I actually see them like walking through the window right now. And I thought that that would be a really great relaxing way to start off the day. So yeah, I'm excited about that. It is 10 a.m. in the morning and then after that we're gonna go and get some some brunch so yeah happy birthday to me Very spicy, we taste it, we be like, mm, yeah. it's all right. No, he meant that. Do you like the huevos rancheros? It's all right. Mm -hmm. Tough critter today, huh? What's up, y'all? It's Shavi's husband. Uh, she ain't gonna put this on the vlog, but we out here. I wanted y'all to see. Y'all see how fine she is? But yeah, look at her. Well, her fine self. Today, her birthday, and I just wanted to wish my beautiful wife a happy birthday. She is the most perfect person on the planet. No one's really perfect, but if someone was, it would be her. Even though she get on my dang nerves sometimes, it's okay because I get on hers. 
But look at look at her, y'all. I can't stop looking at her. Happy birthday, big head. Buddy, love you. We decided to come out to the pool. And I'm trying to learn how to swim so I can swim in the sun all day. I'm trying to learn how to swim in one day. Not that I can't swim, but I'm not a confident swimmer. But I, what I won't do is drown. I'm not going to drown. I never drown. But I'm not about to just dive in a big old body of water either. All right. Deep breath. No, Let me rub. get my laughs out. <laughs> yeah, and you, you're tensing up your shoulders. I know. All right. I know. Uh, yeah. Because one side of your body tense and the other side not. <laughs> You're doing it. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Good morning guys. Today is Monday, May 15th and we are about to check out of our Airbnb because we have another Airbnb but we decided to extend our stay before we got here but our current Airbnb was completely booked up but I'm okay with that because I thought it'd be cool to like get to stay in two different places. So we're about to check out now. The plan for the day is to do like a cenote tour and maybe some zip lining and ATV. About last night, so we went to Ba, which is a steakhouse, and it was so good. The food was 10 out of 10, the drinks, the service. I would highly, highly recommend if you ever come to Tulum and you're looking to have a nice dinner, go to Ba. You gonna pay, you gonna pay, get your pennies ready, okay? But it's worth it, it's worth the experience. But I'm just right now out on the balcony of our Airbnb. I really enjoyed this place. I'll show you guys my view right now. It's really beautiful. It's been drizzling a little bit this morning. It did rain at like 4 a.m. And right now the sun is coming out. But we're having a little bit of a, a little sprinkles, but I'm okay with that. I mean, we're going to the cenote anyway, so we're going to be in water. So I figured, like, this will be the day to go. Like, we're going to get wet anyway. So, yeah. I will catch up with you guys once, I guess, we're on the road heading to the cenotes or so. Yeah, I'll catch you guys then. In the park. I'm gonna tell you something right now. That content creator. <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> you wanna do it? Go no. ahead and do yours. That's you were so just doing it. <laughs> That's what y'all be looking like. like why y'all turn it around? <laughs> because you gotta look at the camera. <laughs> Oh, uh, you got jokes. <laughs> like, y'all always doing that. 
<laughs> I'm gonna I'm turn around. Who walks like it's that? It's a part of the aesthetic. Like, what if you? What if everyday people walk like that? <laughs> I'm not an everyday people. You know what I mean. I want that BCG. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. Dude, you can try Ooh. You can try extra Añejo and you can try 18 years um, in French white oak. This nice. is like, take a look. I'm not kidding. See in Spanish, venta exclusiva tequila de los reyes. So it's not commercialized, not nowhere else. Mm. We also have mango, we have Ooh, coconut, okay. we have almond, coffee, and chocolate. Oh, I want mango. You can throw that in hell, hold your breath. The little sip there you have, you should all the way down. As soon as you already swallow it, blow out very slowly through your mouth. And you see the difference. It's not commercialized tequila like the one out there. Mm. See? Yeah. That's one you drink the ones out there as a lot of alcohol artificial ethanol and sugar. This yeah. one is not like that. Try okay. this one. This Ooh. is the 18 years, so do a little bit, don't worry about it. You're here for vacation, no probation anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy life, right? <laughs> here Thank you. This is 18 years. It's very close. Oh my god. That's good. And this is the mango. Oh it's gonna be a little loose. Oh, that one's a little thicker. This one, I recommend a very chill over ice. Believe me, I recommend the slushy, like blended with a lot of ice. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And you can add more tequila, like a little bit stronger. But if you like the way it is, already to have like that. Mm -hmm. Next to you, swimming pool, you can drink. That one's slushies. dangerous. That one's dangerous. Oh. Like I said, this next to you, swimming pool, three, maybe <coughs> two or three glasses out of it. After you meal, like they said, one or two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like that, don't get one. You wanna do the coconut or any chocolate? Ooh, I'm okay. I'm good. You guys I'm good. okay? Thank you so much. I wish I brought my water. She about to jump, y'all. You ready, buddy? <laughs> I am. You keep looking. That's not gonna make you feel better about it. No, Come on, baby. You can do it. 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 Okay. You see me? Yeah, we're waiting on you. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. How you feel about the trip to Tulum so far? It's fun. It's fun? The cenote is my favorite part so far. Yeah? Yeah. How's your drink? Delicioso. Yeah? Okay. Mm. Okay. That one got a little sweetness in it. Got a little sweetness in it, a lot of alcohol. Like, you could actually see like a watermelon, like it's real watermelon. Okay, here we go. have the garlic cheese fries. Great, thank you. Enjoy. This looks so good. Let me be the judge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 9.8 out of 10. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Chef Kiss. Thank you. 
So we just finished having brunch, breakfast, like a late breakfast at Holistica, which is like a wellness uh, retreat type of hotel, but they also have like a restaurant. It was vegan and vegetarian, so we were being a little bit healthy, but the food was pretty good. The, our waiter was really, really nice, and it was a vibe. It was a nice little vibe, but now we're on the way to the Koba archaeological site or zone where the Koba ruins are and there are some more cenotes there so we're most likely gonna take a dip check out the cenotes and of course check out the ruins so that is gonna be our real activity for the day that's gonna I'm pretty sure wear us out like yesterday's cenote tour which is why I did not come back on this camera and say anything because we were tired. And we did check into our Airbnb, our second Airbnb. Sorry I didn't get to do a tour because we just went in and crashed and tore the room up, <laughs> basically. But I will still link it down below. I will say we prefer our first Airbnb. The first Airbnb just kind of ruined it for this Airbnb. Not that it's a bad spot. Like, it's it's cool, but it's given very much like a hotel room versus our first, which felt more like an apartment and like we were in a, a complex. The amenities were really, really nice. So, yeah, we like that one better. But this one is still nice, and we're still going to enjoy, like, the pool. It's a perfect spot for me to get content, which I'll probably show you guys, like, the content areas but the room is done we we got all our stuff all over the room but like I said I will drop the link down below regardless if you guys want to like check it out you know um, because it is still nice but yeah I just wanted to check in with you guys because I feel like I haven't been talking a whole lot to the camera and I wanted to pop in and give you guys an update but otherwise I will see you guys at Koba the Koba ruins look at all these plants It's like a garden center. Ume, Ume. Ooh, look at those big, like, those weren't even hammocks. Those were like beds. Let's that look. is so cool. Yeah, let's get out and look. Shit, we got 20 minutes. Go. I think those are like evil eyes. Those are cool. This is so nice. <laughs> this is all the stuff you see in Marshalls. I'm telling you. Marshalls and Ross. Look at the macrame. All of these wooden little tables that we buy in the States for freaking hundreds of dollars. <laughs> and I'm sure they're like making all of these things. It's crazy. These solid wood tables. That little part uh -huh. was 300 pesos, 17,000. Oh, wow. I would love to have one of these for the living room. You know, this gray one is nice. Even that white one. Hola. Oh, look at the mirrors. I feel like you could come here and furnish so much of your house. Or decorate your house at least. Yeah. Koba. That's the temple of the Hanabi God. That's uh, oh, wow. that was the, the highest temple of the Yucatan. It's taller than Chichen Itza. I explained you before. Uh -huh. Chichen Itza temple, the, the, the rain god temple of Chichen Itza has about 33 meters high and this is 42. Wow. This, oh, we used to be able to um, climb it, right? Three years ago now it's not allowed. Why not? The what happened? of the government to preserve. Yes, I figured. Look at the ants, baby. Yeah, be careful. I said the same. I was wondering. I said probably to preserve it. Yeah. Because it deteriorates with all the climbing, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. 120 steps. Oh. Wow. And 42 meters high. It's not solid. It's empty. Mm. They built each level in every generation. According to the anthropologists, the average lifespan mine was 52 years. Oh. Mm. The elites, not the regular, not the yeah. common people. The elite 52 wow. years old. The important people. That's why any generation, they have to add each level. 
And well, 95% of Cuba has been not restored. Oh. Oh. That was restored in 1974. It's recent, about 49 years ago, and discovered Cuba in 1842. Why were I talking about what means Cuba? C O B A. In Mayan, we pronounce Cob Ha. Cob Ha. Cob means turbulent and ha water. Turbulent water. Okay. The lakes. Oh, wow. Turbulent by okay. the winds. Mm. That's why in the first place arrived, they called Cob Ha. Cob Ha. That's the name of the city. Cob Ha. Oh, look, they're getting the tour. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's like 230 pounds he pushing <laughs> don't look like it but it is so. we got a shower before we get in the sun all day oh that water cold <laughs> oh my gosh here let me happy I'm about to die. Go, 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 go. <laughs> nah, you didn't get it good enough. I, oh, it ain't recorded. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> Nosy people, just being oh, nosy. Yeah. Oh. It's just us. Oh, oh shit. This is crazy. <laughs> it's really just us in here. I can't even see. We need a light. This is scary. <laughs> <laughs> Jump at your own risk, oh. baby. I'm not jumping. Hell no, I ain't jumping in there. You crazy as hell. <laughs> no, what ain't no tour guide in here. You want me to get in first? Make sure don't nothing get me. Oh Who was God. like, I want to go in that cave real quick. You know what I'm saying? The Mayans were fearless, bro. They had to be. They was like, oh, it's just Oh, that water cold as hell. They was like, oh, it's just, I'm going to get in. Go ahead, buddy. Oh, shit. You recording me? Yeah, I'm recording you. Ain't no fishies in here. Well, hell, I mean, they wouldn't, what would they survive on for? I ain't gonna lie. My nerves getting bad. I'm gonna stay close to this damn thing. That, I mean, I'm sure this line right here is to help people get, pull themselves back in. Yeah. Child. It's scary out there? Kinda, my nerves, it's just cause we the only ones here and you know, know. black people, we don't, we don't trust being by ourselves. <laughs> he sure I don't know, buddy. I don't know if I'm gonna go out there. I went out there. And you came right and back. And I came right back because it was. <laughs> we got down there in that cenote. And it was an immediately no. <laughs> immediately no. I've seen all I needed to see. And we back in the car on the way there. What's, what time did we get here? We got here at like 5, five 20. Yeah, 5 20. It's 5 48. But I promise you, 28 of those minutes was us just taking pictures. <laughs> because. Oh, it so was all a the no whole, for me. 28 or so the, all the time, basically the all whole time. The whole yeah. time we were just taking pictures. Mm -hmm. I dipped my legs in the water. Shaquille actually got in. And got right the hell and on got out. right back out. Because it was so scary. Like, when I was looking it up, there are three snow days here. And that's like the deepest. And of course, me. I don't know who I thought I was. Talking about, I want to go to that one. Like, the one that goes the furthest down underground. And there's artificial light down there. That's how far down underground. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Like, there's no natural daylight. And we got down there. And it just made us feel so small. And it was beautiful, but, like, terrifying. Like, there was no way I was getting out there in that water by myself. Now, yesterday at the Sino things, I was just saying, like, being around other people makes you so brave. Make you feel like you could do anything because I was jumping off the cenotes 16 feet off the cliff into the cenotes, but those cenotes were not underground. But this this was a real cenote, and I was not ready for it. Our black people senses kicked in real quick when we got down there. Get you. Yeah, I heard my yesterday, grandma, get your ass. Because <laughs> yesterday we were just like 
I was being an adrenaline junkie because I do like to do like daredevil type of stuff. Not Shaquille, so I was pushing him to his limit. But today, nah, I couldn't even do that. So we're on the way back. On the way back to Tulum now. This was a great adventure though, just like venturing out. It's been such a great investment to get a rental car and be able to come and go as we please and explore a lot more. Like when I came here last year, we didn't get a rental car. It was a girl's trip. It was a big group of us. So um, we did taxis, like large taxis, and it was very expensive. So if you come to Tulum, um, I highly recommend getting a rental car because it's, go it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna pay off. Oh, look at these cows. Oh, yeah. Look at them. We didn't even see them when we were driving by. <laughs> hey, cows. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, they got babies too. Look at him. He cute. They grazing. Oh, yeah. look. Oh, that's a lot of them. Uh, yeah, it's a farm around here. As I was saying, um, highly recommend get a rental car. It will be worth the money. You'll get to come and go as you please. And you'll actually save money by not having to take the taxis. Like, if you're going to be here at least four days and you want to really explore you have to get a rental car now if you're just going to be here for like less than four days and you know like exactly where you want to go and it's very few like destinations like you have a very planned out trip then i it, it will be okay um but if you're trying to come and go, go as you please you're trying to explore you're trying to be all throughout the town you're trying to leave tulum and see things that are on the outskirts then you need a rental car for sure. Don't be scared to drive neither. Oh yeah, and out here like these people, the dri the drivers like it's every man for himself. Like <laughs> there is no rules on the road, so you cannot be a scary driver at all. I've been a passenger princess this whole time. Shaquille's been doing all of the driving, but I think I could survive. You think I could do okay on the road? You too aggressive. He sounds too aggressive. You're too aggressive. I think I'm aggressive enough. I am an aggressive yeah, driver. Yeah, you, you. But you have to. You yeah, have you to have be to an be. aggressive driver. You can't be like a scary driver. Yeah. Because the people will run you off the road for real. Um, We're on the way back to the Airbnb. We're gonna shower. Um, get dressed for the evening. Then we're gonna go out somewhere and get some dinner. I'm gonna have to look on my list of places. Because we, as we drive throughout the day, if I see something in passing, I'll, you know, mark it um, to possibly visit, so. That's another thing. When you have your own car, you see so much more. Like, yeah. You can appreciate so much more. Yeah, you get to really see Tulum, Mexico for what it is versus just like this beautiful tourist destination, which is something that I enjoy because, of course, you know, we come here for vacation and we want to have a great time, but... It's also a reminder of like how privileged and how blessed we are as Americans, even middle class Americans, like our quality of life in comparison to people in other countries, we have so much. So it's a reality check and, um, you know, it's a reminder of how much you actually have. We are at La Tacaria and it's actually like in the hotel slash beach zone and the prices are actually fairly good considering the fact that down here in the beach zone everything is like expensive and it's a cute little vibe outside. It feels actually really cozy despite the fact that we're outside. <laughs> Shabby's friends. That real Tahino now. Mm -hmm. mm. Smoky. It has mezcal in it. It's tequila, but it's like a, it has a smoky taste. You never had mezcal before? No. Nope. I thought like you have. Oh, look at that bug. Where? He on your arm. He on your right arm. He on your right arm. He huge. He gone? Where are you going? 
I saw him in the air and I was like, oh my God. And then I'm thinking he was gonna fly past you and he didn't. I look, he done touched down on your arm. I'm about to eat your damn arm off. He said, what you is this? I don't know, he said it's on the house though, mm. since y'all waiting so long. So. Oh Lord. Ooh. Mm. Oh, I smell that. Ooh. Hit the back of your throat. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You don't do that. Oh. I don't like no damn shots. Okay. Um, shit. I was just saying I wanted to be lit, too. Clear them sinuses. Well, how do they say in uh, Spanish, ay, ay, ay? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Oh my god! What is this, two free shots? Just give us another shot! <laughs> I'm gonna take it. Baby, hold on. I'm gonna throw it back, y'all. I need to eat this food and drink that lemonade because, baby, my lips are going on. <laughs> We just got out to the beach, specifically at Ziggy's Beach Club, which I came here last year. And this is a really like quiet and peaceful beach club. It's not giving party vibes. It's definitely giving relaxation. You can see behind me like the beach beds and the beaches. I just ordered a smoothie. We're gonna get some lunch at 12 and just have a beach day for our last full day here in Tulum. It's been a much needed trip. We've really enjoyed it. It's been just the right amount of time. I was saying to Shaquille that like, from this point forward, our trips can't be any less than like five days because you feel like you can get a full experience when you have a couple more days and you don't feel like you're rushing your experience so seven days has just been perfect Our beach day was a lot of fun. We actually just came back to the Airbnb to change and now we're heading back out for dinner. I'll show you guys my outfit. This cute little dress that I believe or not got from Shein. And we're gonna kind of look around to figure out what we're gonna do for dinner actually. We passed by this restaurant, I think it was called Nendo or Nudo. So we're gonna, probably gonna check that one out. But what has been your favorite thing so far? The Mayan ruins. Yeah? Yeah, in Koba. Koba. Ko Koha. Koha. What do you think has been my favorite part? Uh, your favorite? Probably the cenotes. The first day. Yeah, the cenotes was definitely um, up there for me. It was a really good experience in comparison to my last year Sonote experience, which wasn't terrible. It's just like I said to you, we couldn't bring in our devices like phone or we couldn't bring anything. So I was able, wasn't able to get any content and then they kind of forced you to buy the pictures. Yeah. We bought the pictures by choice this year, but I was able to get content. And they took good pictures. They took really good pictures. The staff was really friendly. We didn't feel rushed. Um, I like the size of our crowd. Yeah. I like the size of our group. It wasn't like overcrowded and, and the weather was perfect because it was a gloomy day, but it was still warm and the water temperature was just perfect. So when we got out of the water, we were still comfortable and not freezing because last year I was definitely freezing. Yeah, I definitely think the day we went was perfect. Um, and I like how how short the little cave part was yeah because um 
you know, you, if you do those long tours, you can get anxiety. People start freaking out. Yeah. You know, even just, people having little kids yeah. down there. It was cool because you got the, you know, the little quick, maybe five, ten minute experience mm -hmm. and you were out of there. Like, you know, yeah. didn't have time for any, any anxiety to set in. Yeah. And last year, when I say we went so deep into the cave, it was pretty terrifying. Like my friend was having a damn near having a panic attack. And it wasn't like that this time. And also the the size of the cave, like I liked how narrow it was. So you didn't feel extremely small, right? Yeah. Because obviously we know that the water was deep, but because the cave was so narrow, it didn't feel like we were being we were in this huge dark space like the that we could other, get consumed yeah. in. <laughs> like the other the last cenote we went to. Yeah. Yeah, I was not having that. So we ended up just driving around and finding a restaurant. This one is called El Agabado. El Agabado. Cochina. It's an ancestral kitchen. I don't know what that word is, but I know that's Cochina Ancestral Ancestral Kitchen. Um, and it's really a vibe. Like we're sitting like on this upper level and it really kind of looks like um, a tree house type of nest. Um, and one thing that I noticed in Tulum, I don't know if they do this for like the insects, but they use a lot of smoke, but I love the way that the smoke, it doesn't smell like something's burning per se like, it's like a cedar you think that's what yeah. it is i guess so it smells so good to me like i want to bring some home and burn it in the house but i think they do it for to keep the insects away like mosquitoes and stuff like that because they use it a lot at restaurants and they will just walk around the restaurant like burning and it'll look like smoke but it smells so good to me um, but yeah, we're, this is where we found, and I'll show you guys what we get to eat. I'm drinking, this is ja the Jamaica um, margarita, right? Uh, yeah, it just says Jamaica. I don't know if it's a margarita. Uh, okay, that's the name of the drink. Yeah. And your, which one did you get? Guayaba. Guayaba, which is uh, guava. My favorite flavored ice cream, or sorbet. And it's pretty good. Unfortunately, it's the last day, not even a last full day. It is Thursday the 18th and we just checked out of our Airbnb and now we're looking to get some, our last brunch breakfast. Sad. It's been a fun trip, but low key, I am ready to get back like to my own space. But yeah, we're on the hunt for a spot to eat. Breakfast. I hate that Potheads is closed. Why are you laughing at me? Breakfast. <laughs> um, last year when we were here, there was this place called Potheads. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but it had really good, like cheap breakfast and like fresh smoothies and stuff like that. And we drove by to get breakfast on like our first full day here and they were completely shut down, which was really disappointing. But there is still a Potheads in the hotel beach zone, but we don't feel like driving down there. But we found this other spot that we're going to try and check out. It's called Cafe La Resistance. Hopefully it's open because sometimes you see places on maps and they don't even be open no more. Um, or they don't be where the maps say that they're at. So we'll see.
Would you try or would you try to get me? Tell me now.